Hi friends, Pastor Cindy Garris here. Just wanted to reach out to you during this time. Um, for many, it's a scary time. For many, it is a time to step back and reflect and sort of regroup. Um, for all of us, it is certainly different times. And so I just wanted to reach out to you today and wish you first a happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I had to sort of laugh when I realized that it was St. Patrick's Day and I'm not going to be sitting here with a um, pint of Guinness, but to point out the, uh, the shamrock for St. Patrick's Day, one of the thoughts is why that is associated with St. Patrick is that it is said that he used the shamrock, this clover style, to describe the Trinity. Um, so our Trinity, our Godhead is uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, or in our um, contemporary circles, Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer. So I just wanted you to have that for today. May the Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer be with you today. As you probably already heard or read, um, St. Uh, Colonial Park United Church of Christ is canceling our worship services for the next two weeks, as well as any activities here at the church. So if there were events or outside groups that were using our facility, they will be canceled until the end of the month. Um, on March 30th, our council will be reconvening and assessing where the coronavirus situation is at that time. In the meantime, just wanted to really encourage you to continue to reach out to one another so that social distancing doesn't become spiritual distancing and doesn't become a uh, communal distancing. But the fact that the church is a family and a community is very, very important to so many people. So be reaching out to those people who are not able to get out of their homes or who are not um, going to any different places to get other kinds of social interaction and may live alone. I want to encourage us to continue to look for ways that we can grow spiritually. I'm going to be working at having our Lenten soup suppers, minus the soup, but the, the reflection and learning time online. Um, I wasn't able to pull that together today for tonight, since this is Tuesday night, but I uh, became aware that our uh, a group called Amplify uh, has the walk, which is the series that we are using from a Adam Hamilton, has his video series available during this time for free to to congregations. So I believe that link is below or in this email or in the description um, on YouTube. So check that out. Uh, explore. We've been using the walk in our, our series. And so you can learn right from the author himself in sort of 15 minute video clips. So go ahead and take a look at that. Um, as we go on, maybe we'll continue to use that. Maybe I'll use Zoom and so I can get some of your interaction going on. We used Zoom for our council meeting last night and it worked pretty well. So be on the lookout for, for those opportunities and ways you can continue to connect and engage um, with those in church, with your neighbors, with friends, with people who come to mind and continuing to keep people in prayer. By way of prayer, I just wanted to read one of the, I've been sharing uh, words from Sarah R, A-R-E, uh, who participates in um, a sanctified art at sanctifiedart.org. Um, but she, I've been sharing some of her stuff as we've been gathering for our Lenten uh, midweek services. And this one struck me as being appropriate for this time. So just in closing, I wanted to share this reading with you. The wilderness is a place of isolation. It is also a place of connection. We sat around a six person table for don't most holy moments happen around a table. Six women, six heartbeats, six names and identities. We gathered there once every 12 days to read and pray, to learn each other's names, 
It was nothing more than a burger bar, and we were nothing more than the truths that we shared. So sitting around a basket of fries, I assumed I knew everyone there. But then the woman directly to my right sat quietly to, said quietly to this group of six that night, I had an abortion when I was young and my heart stopped and my heart sunk for she had kept this wilderness in. She had carried this weight alone. She had grieved and prayed for peace and I had never even known. She went on to speak of hurt and grief, of a prayer to God to end suffering. She went on to tell us her most vulnerable truth. And in an instant, that small leather booth became church. For in naming the wilderness, that space became not only the place of her greatest pain, but also the place where we became one. In an instant, she became her own light, and in an instant, we were changed. For in that instant, we saw her wilderness walk. So in that instant, we became six names, six united identities, one heartbeat. I think the wilderness does that. Sometimes you walk it alone, and sometimes you tell that story and a booth becomes home. May this be so for us in this time and in this season where we journey in the wilderness alone and yet together. May we find ways to share vulnerable truths in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, creator, redeemer, and sustainer. God bless you, my friends. Keep in touch. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye.